In this video, I'm going to try and provide you with a little more information about ventilation in a when you build a roof over a another roof, whether it's a home addition or new construction. Normally, on a gable end, we're going to have a gable vent that would allow air to circulate from the outside into the attic. And you will also have blocks that go in between the roof rafters with holes in them that would allow air to enter from the outside. As far as ventilation goes in the attic, you don't want air coming from the inside of the house. You want all of the air circulating from the outside uh, into the attic. Now here's the problem. They build, you build a roof over uh, an existing roof and the it's always going to be a good idea to cut a hole or drill some holes in the sheathing so that you can allow air to circulate from the existing roof um, or the roof that is covered with plywood already and the area that needs to be ventilated. Here's an example of what I'm talking about. You have floors, you have the roof sheathing, and then you have a hole. This hole would allow the air to circulate into the other attic. Now, I am going to make a suggestion, you know, that you uh, check with your engineer um, because sometimes, you know, they might, uh, they might have another method for ventilating the uh, other building. And the only reason why I'm saying that is maybe there's some type of a fire, if there was some type of a fire restriction. I've never ran into that, but I hate to say in these videos, to do something and then um, you're not allowed to do it. So always check with your building authorities or read the plans uh, before you do something like that. But the ventilation is important, but there are other ways you can do it. So for example, instead of cutting a hole in the uh, roof sheathing, because it might not make the uh, engineer happy, you could always put a dormer vent over here, put a dormer vent as far over as you can and I'm going to try and show you a picture of those and that what a dormer vent is here in a few minutes. But you can always look that up on the internet too if you can't. Uh, the picture I have might not be the best picture. Um, and another thing I wanted to cover, and the reason why I made the video was because some uh, someone emailed me recently and the roof was built on their home, a brand new home and it wasn't built correctly so the trust company sent out so some additional trusses that mounted on top of the floor sheet I mean the roof sheathing and I would imagine they were about two foot tall and then they sheeted the roof again and I told them that my concern would be the ventilation and that's actually what made me uh, spurred me on to make this video and uh, with that what I'd like to point out uh, for them is that let's just imagine that the roof is um, is this this particular roof not your roof um, goes from here this point right here starts here and then goes to the top the ridge is up here and then we come back down to here so let's just say that we're covering a big area so this area right here is now from here to the top and down to the bottom. The, the, the whole thing with ventilation is cross circulation. If you have a situation like that, you're going to need to make sure that you have an opening at one end and an opening at the other end so that the air can circulate from the inside of the attic in this building or this section and then into this area here. It needs some cross ventilation. so. Uh, if you're watching this video for the people who emailed me the question, you're going to need some cross ventilation. This would be some holes on the in the um, first layer of roof sheathing so that the air can circulate into here. You will need some type of circulation. Now let's just imagine that you, that you are going to put dormer vents. They're going to use dormer vents. Well, if there's um, a se if, if there is no if there are no holes in the first layer of roof sheathing, um, then the air is not going to circulate into the attic because it's going to be blocked off by the first layer of sheathing. So, hope that uh, makes sense. This is a gable vent, and of course, you can see the gable section of the roof. This is finished, and of course, this allows air to, outside air to enter into the attic. 
these are the blocks I was talking about that go in between the roof rafters. The blocks allow air to go into the attic. Now this is a vaulted or cathedral ceiling, so the air holes are a little higher. Make sure, and this is a big problem, that the holes that you cut and the holes that you drill aren't going to be blocked by the insulation. That is That happens a lot. I can't tell you how many times I've came across that. Now here's an example of a job that we did. This is actually a structural shear wall and it needed to be built this way. But you can see on this side right here that there's a space where the air can come um, from the vaulted, I mean the California or the fill area into the attic over here in the other section. And here's the hole of course that uh, we cut into the roof. So this is the other structure. Here's the hole and then even with the shear wall there's a space here where the air can go through and circulate into the air into the other area now how big of a hole do you need to cut um, that could be tricky it all depends upon um, what your building code requires some people require a one in 300 um, some and then I noticed the newer building codes require a one in 150 and what that is is 150 cubic um, feet in the attic will require a um, if you have a 1 in 150 um, ratio then 100 and cubic 100 cubic attic space attic air space requires a one square foot opening so um, uh, that's the best that uh, best that I can explain it uh, there um, now here is, I, of course, I was taking a picture of the chimney here, and I don't really know if you're going to be able to see it, but these over here are dormer vents, and uh, this is actually a room addition that I did here, and we were doing this house here. So these are actually dormer vents. The um, I forget the reason why the attic got blocked off. I think it uh, had a structural wall or something and didn't allow it to... Uh, didn't allow it to have air, so we had to put more dormer vents in. So dormer vents are always going to be another option for you um, if you cannot cut holes in the uh, in between the existing roof and the um, the fill area or the California section. So anyway, that's it for this video. I hope it makes sense. I'm going to try and make another video. I don't know when I'll make it on um, ventilation. Don't forget to visit the website. We have a an area in the home building section. Um, go to the home building page, click on that, scroll down, and we actually have a uh, area a, a another page with some videos on ventilation if you're looking for more information on that also and that's why i'm actually going to put a link to the video in the future so if you're watching this thing 10 years from now hopefully i will have the video made by then